it's Chris here with Lucia. Lucia, can you come up here? Can you come up here just a little? Come on, now. Nah. All right, we're gonna work on those feet and she knows it. So we're gonna tighten up a little bit. Huh, you're just like a real Yorkie. Don't like your feet done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remember that she's got bad stifles and you wouldn't think that that'd matter on the front legs, but sometimes when you pick up their front legs, they change, shift their weight and then they pop their knees out and you never touch their back legs. So try and be as gentle and loose and easy as you can so that they don't shift their weight if you can help it. And I know these guys can be ornery as heck and I gotta be honest, um, when I do her prep work, she is a little stinker for her pads. So I totally get it. Um, you just, just remember though that that's something you need to be thinking about whenever you're working with some of these Yorkie mixes, toy poodle mixes, Maltese mixes. A lot of those toy breeds are born with a shallow knee joint. Thus, as they get even a little bit older, sometimes even puppies, um, those knee sockets um, won't keep the, the knee, the patella, and they start rolling, and then once the ligaments stretch, then they're doomed. So um, the only way to fix it is surgery, and that's not our department. So we just have to try and keep them from hurting themselves. Now, um, again, just like the back, I want to keep that foot a little bit heavier to support her mass. So I'm just going to come right around after I did the bottom and scissor right around and keep some of that fullness, okay? All right, because there's nothing I can do with that. It's just that's the way it's going to be. The only other thing that I will check is the back and make sure that this is clean. But it looks pretty good. So that's it for the foot. If you want to clean it up a little bit more, soften your lines, what have you, you can always take, you know, a blending shear and hit it you know, just gently lift it up and hit it and just clean that up a little. But ultimately, I want to keep this volume. I want this foot to remain fairly large so that it balances out with her fairly large little body. Okay, and that was a 45 tooth blender. All right, thank you.